Shout out to KP for that beat. Kim folk, Kim folk, let me see what these people talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Pull up a chair. Come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. So we about to what? Break bread right now. Today, I got a video. Got a video to react to. Of course, you know, a lot of times I like to react to things that's going on around the world as well. You know, we got a segment just for that. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, we react to what's going on in Africa. You know what I'm saying? So, we about to pop that off. Y'all get ready, get ready. You ready? Because I'm ready. You ready? i wait. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Drop a note. Hit that notification bell. Drop a comment. Say what's up. Because this is my way of saying what's up to y'all. So, give you a minute to do that. All right, here we go. Finna get right into it, though. Truthful and unapologetic. And I want to talk about the issue of access to vaccines. Okay. We have made a proposal which is supported by more than 100 countries. And what we have said is we want, and this comes back to what the youth were saying as well. They want to know whether they have a continent which will help to develop their skills where they can thrive. Mm -hmm. But what do we want? We want to be able to make our own vaccines. And we will deal with the issue of reluctance uh, for our Africans to take vaccines. But we want to make vaccines. We don't just want to fill and finish and package, which is what we are being offered. Which is understandable. And we want you to build which is understandable, you feel me? I'm gonna tell them people now, nah, you let us do it. What are they doing that at? The capacity to fill, finish, and package, and uh, we will send you the drug substance. And we say, no, we want you to relax the intellectual property rights for a while so that we can make the drug substance because we Come have on. the capability. And there are quite a number of countries on the continent that can. Exactly. And right now, we've got countries like Egypt, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, Senegal, Rwanda, Talk South about Africa, it. and Kenya. Easily, they have the capability, the manufacturing capability. And we are saying we want to be able, to, we want to go beyond just getting the substance from Europe or wherever, filling and distributing we want to make it make perfect substance. sense perfect because sense. that is where the intellectual property resides and that is where we want our young people who are the epidemiologists who are scientists to see that there is a future for them then they will not go to europe they will not go to america they will stay here because they will know that they can work effectively and display all the skills we have exactly now what does the world the, the the northern part of the world do they say no we know what is good for you we just want you to do fill and finish and that's it that's not cool and we say no we no longer want that you did that long ago when you colonized us come on and when you raped and pillaged our countries we say no now we have the capability and we want to make speaking it. truth the power G. now quite often we find that there is a bit of paternalism that underpins the relationship between us i give you a very good example so proud of you bro Omicron, uh, was announced i was due to travel to west africa and in traveling uh, in the wake of Omicron, I received calls from the four presidents that I was going to travel to, President Makisar, Buhari, Watara, uh, as well as uh, Akufunan. And they said, we've heard about this Omicron. Omicron, are you still coming? We want you to come. What can we do to help? And we are talking. What can we do to help? And I said, President, 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 if you still relax. 
text about our coming, we are coming. A plain load of us, together with journalists, we got on the way. Before I left, I also got some calls from Europe. And the calls what they were talking so about. paternalistic. They were saying, hello, President Ramaphosa. Paternal? You heard about this on record. I am sorry to tell you that we are banning travel to Europe from South Africa and Southern Africa. No discussion, no attempt to hear what our views are. Treating them like the you like daddy or something like. Needs to, needs to be mutually respectful. It gotta be. We need to respect one another. The African presidents respected me as we respect one another. Yeah, they see you as the same. Europe, I just got a message of saying we banned travel. Thank you. Goodbye. See you next time. Wow. It ain't. Did you like? That's crazy, G. Like, how you playing with them people like that? Like he said, man, that shit felt paternalistic. Like, you think you run me or something? You just telling me what it's gonna be, and that's it. Like, nah, it's gonna be problems, G. It's gonna be problems. And like he started off, like, you know, why not give us the opportunity to give the people of our continent hope? by allowing for us to manufacture and do what we need to do because the youth, they keep on leaving the country. They keep on leaving the continent to go other places where they're able to exercise these gifts, these skill sets that these people have. And like they say, man, we don't trust it because, like, <laughs> come on, bro, how many times? How many times have you heard about outbreaks in Africa only to realize they doing that to them people, bro? They testing out shit on them people. And they coming out saying, man, we tired of that. We tired of that. You know, if, if it's really a cure out here, if it's really a way to deal with this, let us deal with our own problems in the house. And since they decided they wanted to deal with their problems, you know, address it as adults, you know what I'm saying, and cure their own situation, they done been put on travel bans. Like, come on, brother, travel bans didn't work the last time. They ain't gonna work this time. You ask me, this is a new form of discrimination. It's just a new form of discrimination, man. Truth be told, we got to get to a point we ain't even trying to be around certain people no more. But don't get it twisted. I understand when the president is talking, they thinking about the people that are they people in different countries. You know what I'm saying? Or they people that got business over in different countries. So it's their duty to speak from that standpoint of the whole. But when I'm talking, I'm sitting over here like, look, family. Let's get to a point where we concentrate on what we got going on and we can create situations like that. If you a person who know anything about this type of stuff and you can help them people over there, not from a standpoint of we got we know what the standard of health is. Come on, bro. Miss me with that shit. Miss me with that shit. Go over there with them people. See what they need from you and, be of, and be of service. Do what they need. Don't be one of them people when people ask you to do something for them. You tell them, nah, I'm going to do it this way. You need to take this kind of help or sh I ain't going to help you at all. You're not trying to help nobody at that rate. Let's just be real. You're not trying to help nobody when you acting like that. So, again, you know, my heart, my love goes out to Africa. And, I, man, I will that what I say to you finds you in perfect peace. Y'all make sure y'all share this video to at least three people. You know what I'm saying? One for the mother, one for the father, and one for the child. You know what I'm talking about? And if you truly blessed, you know, send it to more people. So you can continue to be a blessing. Let your actions <laughs> come before you. You feel me? Let them things precede you to the point you just got so many blessings on backstory. It's just like, dang. One day you wake up, it's just like you always in the zone. You always in the zone. But again, I love you as myself. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. Is we are one. And I'm so glad that we in connection. Kim Fo, Kim Fo. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Pull up a chair. Come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. So we about to what? We just broke bread right now. Peace within. Peace out. Lovely day.